Hi, I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, and I'm going to talk to you about how to use and adjust a wood plane. Adjustments on most wood planes are pretty much the same, whether you're talking uh, a block plane like this, or your bench and jack planes, the larger versions. Uh, the, the basic adjustments are all the same. You look at our planes, there's really just a couple of different adjustments to make. Depth of the cut, or where the, bl the blade is, and how far it protrudes from the bottom the angle of the blade in the body, and on some planes we can actually adjust the throat or the opening that the, the uh, blade protrudes through the bottom. The first thing we want to do is with the adjustment here is we can loosen that, and that's going to give us some play in our blade. It's going to loosen our frog up, this, this piece here, and it's going to let us make some adjustments there. Um, the Western, most of your Western variety planes are going to have the style adjustment. The Japanese planes are a different creature, um, we can talk in days on those. Um, we're going to talk about this style. And the first thing we want to do is, is make an adjustment to our depth of cut. And that's done with a wheel on the back. Uh, and that, by turning that one way or the other, will bring out a blade forward or back. Um, and will let us protrude further um, from the body or narrow it, bring it down so it's not sticking out as far through the body. The next adjustment we can make is a kind of a side to side or an angle adjustment. On planes like this block plane, uh, we can, there's a lever in the back that actually lets us adjust the angle here. And what you're looking for, generally speaking, is to get your blade centered in the throat and straight. You generally want it straight. There are times you may want to have some angle on it, but as a rule, you want it to line up pretty straight in the, in the blade, in the opening. And once you've got it straight, you can go ahead and snug it up a little. You don't want to get all the tension on it quite yet because you want to come down and take a, a quick look at the depth of your cut. You can make one last adjustment there and then you can go ahead and lock it down. Some planes like this, uh, this particular style of block plane also allow you to open the throat and we can do that by loosening the lever in front and then you can just go ahead and lock that down. You won't see that on a lot of your planes. Um, more your specialized or your higher end um, smaller planes like this. When you're using your planes, you want to make sure your stock is clamped down nice and tight. Uh, if you can use some kind of a bench vise, that works great. Uh, I'm just going to use uh, some clamps here on our bench, lock it down. We'll make a few passes. And one of the things you want to keep in mind, whether, again, whether you're using your block plane or your, your larger planes, is your body position. You want to hold it. Um, these guys, the little ones you can hold in one hand, the bigger ones you want to use two hands. Sometimes it works best if two hands. And then you, it's an entire body move. You want to lock your feet down and then move your hips. And that's where you're going to get your nice smooth motion. Okay, we're going to go and make that first pass and basically get in a comfortable position. And I like to set the plane at a bit of an angle on the stock, like you can see here. And maintaining some firm pressure we're just going to rock our body forward and make that first pass. But you can see this is what we're looking for, some nice curls coming right off the top. And as you'll note, if you notice, I've got one hand kind of underneath supporting the base of my plane. And that's actually kind of helping me balance it and keeping this nice right angle here. Okay, so real quickly, that's how to use and adjust a wood plane. I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, the fine art of furniture making.